now we can do something like this. Sobo leaves up here, heads due west at 8 knots. Okay, let's talk about real quick 8 knots. Knots are... That's your nautical mile... Nautical miles per hour. Okay? So if you're going, let's say you are going 8, eight knots, like here. If you go 8 knots, you're going uh, for 2 hours, then you are uh, 16 nautical miles from your port, right? Okay, if you're going eight knots, you go for four hours, then you're going to be 32 nautical miles from, from your port, and so on, okay? But uh, this looks like this boat, after 15 minutes only, uh, we changed course. Okay, so let's, let's try and draw this, first of all. So we're going to go straight, straight west, okay? Straight west for 15 minutes, for 15 minutes. Now, first of all, if we're going eight knots, eight nautical miles per hour, but we're only going for 15 minutes, you know, 15 of 60 minutes, right? In other words, a fourth of an hour. So eight times 15 over 60. So we got eight over, you know, eight over four, which is two. So we've gone two nautical miles. We've gone two nautical miles from this port, and we've gone straight west, right? And now all of a sudden we change course. So let me draw my little axis here. Yeah, I've changed the course. It looks like I'm going north, but off of north here, I'm going 16 degrees west. Okay, so 16 degrees is right in there. Okay, you see that little 16 degrees right in there off of north, 16 degrees west. So that's the direction I am now going, okay? Uh, but now I'm going 10 knots, okay, 10 nautical miles per hour. Okay, so I'm going 10 knots. How long do I do that for? Let's find the sailboat's bearing distance from the pier after 12 minutes. So 12, 12 out of 60 minutes, right? So we got a fifth of an hour, 10 times one fifth. So it looks like we end up going two nautical miles again in this, this same direction, right? Two nautical miles here. Okay, two miles. So now they say find the sailboat's bearing. So we're right here, right? We went straight west, and then we changed course north 16 degrees west, and we went... And we landed right here, right after, after 12 minutes on that course. And they say, find the direction back, um, distance from the pier, the bearing uh, back to that pier. Okay? Find the uh, sailboat's bearing and distance from the pier after 12 minutes on this course. Okay? So, you know, I'm going to change this. I'm going to change this uh, distance back to the pier. Distance back to the pier. So I'm going to say, if this is my axis, if you guys don't mind... And change that so I'm going straight back. Give me the directions back, actually. Okay, the directions back there. So that would be, I'm going to call this theta, okay? So if I go like that. So I'm going to say that's south, such and such degrees east, right? So that's what I'm looking for. I want to know uh, south, such and such, and this is in degrees east. What's my bearing? back to the pier. Okay, again, I changed that problem. And then how many how many miles is this as well? What's the distance back? Okay, let's call this, uh, how about little c here? We'll call this little c. Okay, c distance. How many c miles, c nautical miles back? Okay, so those are the two things we're looking for here. Well, we're going to, as you might expect, use a little right triangle trick. So I'm going to extend this and make a make a right triangle there. Can you see this right triangle right here? Okay. And now you're looking at this, and you're like, boy, I don't know if I have enough information here. Well, why don't we start just kind of filling things in. Why don't we, why don't we call this angle A, which means this is little a, this 90 degrees angle C there. Of course, we got this lowercase c up there. Uh, angle B would be that theta. And uh, this whole side would actually be B, right? So what I'm, what I'm going to call this little part D. So D plus 2 ends up being that whole side length B, lowercase b, okay? Now l look at this smaller triangle right here. You see this smaller triangle that involves the D? Okay, I can fill in a little bit of that. Notice that the 16 degrees there, that leaves us with 74 degrees right there, okay? 74 degrees. And then I can use this 2 up here, that length 2, that hypotenuse. So now we can say, well, 
How about we use the old sign and start filling this in? Let's say the sine of 74 degrees is opposite over the hypotenuse 2. Go ahead and multiply both sides by 2. So 2 times the sine of 74 degrees would be A. Okay, let me punch that in here. One point nine two three. Okay, there's a one point nine two three. And then let's go ahead and find that little d as well. So let's go cosine cosine seventy four degrees is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse and multiply both sides there by two. So two times cosine seventy four degrees, that equals your d. Let's see what that spits out. Make sure you're in degrees. 0 0.551. 0 0.551. Okay. So 0.551. Let's see what was this? 1.923. Okay. So now you notice, look at the really big one here. The big right triangle. Okay. Here. Now you're looking at that. So like, hey, I could find C by the old Pythagorean theorem, couldn't I? Uh, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So your A squared, 1.923 squared. And your B, that whole side length, right? From here to there. So that would be 2 plus that 0 0.551. 2 plus, so 2.551. That squared equals C squared, right? Don't forget you're going to square root this whole thing. So C ends up being plus minus, but we know it's the positive one since it's a distance. Punch this in. Three point one nine five. Three point one nine five. So that's how many miles back, right? We got the three point one nine five nautical miles back back to shore, back to the pier, or whatever. So that's part of our answer. Now we got to get this theta right there, right? South such and such degrees east. So what would that be? So we're going to have to use a little, uh, use a little trig here. So let's go. We want, um, so we're looking at this B, right? That, that uh, angle B. So let's call, or theta, whatever you want to call that. Interior, I've already called it theta inside, so I'll be consistent with that. So why don't we use that and the, uh, why don't we use the old sine, sine function. So we're going to say the sine of theta equals the opposite side, which is 2.551, over the hypotenuse, 3.195. Okay, so we got some number. Now I say, well, I need theta. I need to pop out theta. So what do I have to use on that? I'm going to have to use the arc sine. I'm going to have to run the arc sine on both sides here. Okay. And if you're in degrees, it'll spit out that angle theta in degrees, which is what we want here. Two point nine eight one degrees. Okay, so it ends up being extend this a little bit. So we go south fifty two point nine eight one degrees east, and then it was uh, three point three point one nine five nautical miles back to the pier. Okay. Right. See you guys uh, in class. Have a good day.